E guys, what is going on? Really here. Just kidding, it's me Mark, someone who actually has skill. Today we have a special video for those of you who have always wondered what it'd be like to live in sad little Brelu shoes. Someone has sent me a letter who dislikes Brelu about what it'd be like in the average day of Brelu's life. This person happens to also be me. So without further ado, let's hop into it. As Brelu began walking down the street in nowhere Canada, because let's face it, if you ain't in America, who really cares where you are? He began to pass a maple syrup store and runs into a guy who wishes he could Ajax off. He began to get really nervous as his knees were weak and arms began to get heavy. He said, Amen, nice day to be a boot, eh? The stranger turned around disgusted by Brelu's pale face and almost transparent like skin and told Brelu to piss off. Brelu, all of a sudden, got excited and the specialist weapon in his pants became active immediately due to this rare human interaction. As Brelu began to daydream about shooting rockets into this guy's enemy territory, he realized that he disappeared faster than a kid on crack with lightweight on. When Brelu came to a sixth sense, he became sad and decided that he needed a drink, but had no friends, so he decided to whip out his WANG! Well, he couldn't find it, so he pulled his phone out instead and tweeted out for all the subscribers to meet him at the bar. When Brelu arrived at the bar, to his surprise, all the subs were there. Brelu met his two fans and it turns out those guys are named Jason and Andrew. When they all got together, they began to touch long barrel tips together and were shooting rapid fire rounds all over each other. Brelu actually shot a mesh mine right into JJ's back alley because he didn't have any other protection. When all the fun at the bar was over, JJ and Brelu decided to go back to Brelu's house, which was just his mom's basement. Just as JJ were and Brelu were taking off their pants and charging up their 90s, Brelu's mom came downstairs and told him to go to bed because it was only 2 o'clock. 